waiting for her breakfast. We gotta get going this way. Um, not too bad. Uh, we have to leave 11. So, not terrible, but we gotta get through breakfast. And then I gotta shower and get everyone ready to go. Because I have an ultrasound today, which I'm like super excited about seeing Ashlyn, of course, but I'm bummed because Christopher's not allowed to go in with me because my doctor's office has rules right now where only the patient is allowed inside, which most places are doing that same rule because of this quarantine pandemic coronavirus stuff. So it sucks that he doesn't get to go in with me and see it, but hopefully they'll let me record for him. So, yeah, we also have to get groceries today. Well done. Well done. stand in there and get soaked today. Look at that bruise because you just had to run into a wall. Hey, <laughs> 
Checking in, she's like acting all confused, and I'm like, "Don't tell me that I didn't mess something up." And then she's like, "Yeah, your appointment's for tomorrow." Really? Like yeah. they said Wednesday. I know that they said Wednesday. I wasn't able to get any recordings or anything because I couldn't even see the screen from the angles. Like I was laying on the bed, and then the little screen was like right beside my head, so I could barely even see it. And they have their policies and such. And wasn't really much to see because it's so like in the third trimester it's hard to get stuff. I didn't even get any pictures because uh, Ashlyn had her face covered and turned away and everything else so you couldn't really even see anything. But she said she's measuring at like 2 pounds, 12 ounces. And for the most part measured between like 28 and 29 weeks. So she was measuring pretty much right on time, I guess. I'm 28 weeks and uh, five days today, I think. She's measuring like pretty much on time. And she is head down, so hopefully she stays that way from now on. She definitely doesn't like ultrasounds and stuff because she always goes crazy during them, which makes it harder. But they did get to see what they didn't uh, see last time. like. I vlogged my 20 week ultrasound, which is technically the anatomy scan where they check all the organs and bones and everything to make sure everything's good. And we were there for a long time because she wasn't cooperating and I thought that they ended up getting all of this stuff, but apparently they didn't get everything. So when I switched OBs and she looked at my files, she wanted to do a follow up just to try and get a look at what they missed. And that's what today was for. Apparently it was like, it was like, like some she looked at her head some and like i think like maybe an, a leg or an arm and then the heart i guess i thought that she got a lot of views of the heart i thought so but they checked the heart Cuyahoga valley national park again today and they have to she has Is to this? send that to the ob to have the ob like Is this the check over it huh? Is this a different entrance to the same place? What place? Is this the other side? Cuyahoga Valley National Park. What well, we went to George Metro. Oh. It was in Cuyahoga. Wow. George Metro is like south, I think. No, it is Cuyahoga. Well, no, that's not the park. <laughs> so I have to like I guess wait for my next appointment for the doctor to tell me like what she thinks about the ultrasound or whatever because the tech isn't really qualified to like Don't diagnose from them. They can just get the measurements and stuff but the actual doctor has to look at it. So I guess I'll have to wait till my next appointment for them to look at the ultrasound and also get the final answer on my uh, glucose test stuff because I'm not sure if she's going to make me take the three hour one just to be safe or not because of how close I was to the cutoff. I hate when people pull out in front of me when I'm going to speed He had plenty of time to speed up to yeah, well, he did. the right uh, speed. So now we're going to Walmart to get groceries because we have none. We have no milk, we have no butter, we're like almost out of bread. We have like one roll of toilet paper left because it uses a lot for some reason. So hopefully we can find that stuff. We might be screwed, who knows, we will see. Oh, 
Well, we just got back from Walmart. And we were actually able to get everything on the list, including toilet paper. So, that's good. I got... <laughs> I got a ring float today to try and use my What? I didn't turn the switch off. Well, who did? We got some Redbox movies to watch. The new Jumanji movie. Can you take all your stuff from the camera? Got dry screen cream. This is the third bottle of this I've ever bought. And I've been using it since high school. So I've been using this for around like six years. And this is like my third bottle I've ever bought. Crazy, right? And I got London some stuff for her Easter basket. Just some coloring stuff, chalk, paint, blah, blah, blah. I also plan on having her do the painting my belly thing here soon, so I need to paint for that as well. And we got her a ball. It's kind of for both of us. It's for both of us. It's her Easter present, but I also got it for me for like labor and stuff because I don't want to buy a $30 exercise ball when that was $250 and I'm only going to use it one time. <laughs> right now I'm planning out what days we're having what meals. We're about to watch Jumanji, eat some popcorn. London needs to take a nap. She fell asleep like the last five minutes of the car ride. And besides that, she screamed for like ever. I've got to clean at some point because I haven't cleaned yet today because we haven't been home before we have clean. So I do have to clean up some. I kicked something else with it. It is two o'clock. So yeah, we're gonna take a movie and take a break at first. And then I'll get up and clean and do all my other stuff. This is one of Christopher's t-shirts. Yeah, it looks like a schmedium on me. A schmedium. Yeah, barely comes down at all. I can't even put this here. It don't fit under the TV, it's too big. I can't go in front of it? He's gotta hook the PlayStation up to the TV because he has it in here. Why is my flashlight on? Say blue? No, I'm not. Blue? If I've got one, I'll take it back. I'm white. Say just red. Take it home. Look, it's just a bit of bloody tin. Red? It doesn't make you special. No. I had to change again because London spilled water all over me and soaked <laughs> my shirt and my pants. A corona! <laughs> Quit bumping the table here and knock the camera over. We got our first registry gifts. <laughs> 
Oh, I feel like I got a tag in my eye, but. <laughs> I posted on my Snap story a couple nights ago that I was having a really bad day, and there I had a very sweet Shit. Um, supporter who went on the registry and bought some stuff as a pick me up, which was so know. awesome, I so sweet. I literally hands. like got teary eyed whenever she told me. But I finally have both packages and I wanted to open it on camera. No, your hands are tiny, bro. <laughs> Stop. Can you say red? Red ball? You little cheeky little cheeky dude. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put her Instagram handle over here and just like so you guys know like if you ever do purchase anything off the registry which it's always in the description box if you don't know that but if you did purchase things off the registry please let me know I would love to thank you personally I would love it if you would include a note with it because you can do that and include any of, any of your like social media handles like Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and I will follow slash add you back, whatever. I added her back on Snapchat and I was already following her on Instagram. And I thanked her in, the, in um, my DMs where she messaged me the that she had sent to me stuff. But once again, that was really sweet of her and I'm gonna open them. I already know what was bought because I can see on the registry, but it's still exciting. What's that? She said, "Enjoy your gifts for um, enjoy your gifts for baby Ashlyn from Candace Fay." So yeah, if you do send anything, I would love to like shout you out on Instagram, open it on the YouTube channel, read your notes, follow you back, whatever it is. Uh, she got us our bottles. This is just, these are just the bottles that I had with London and I liked them. These are the Nook bottles, there's three of them. Give me a second. And I just wanted to have these on hand just in case I needed them, like I said, because I don't really plan to use bottles unless I have to. But I wanted to have some readily available if anything happened. So, some bottles. And this is something I'm really excited for because this is like one of the main things that I really wanted off the registry. Is our diaper bag. I thought this was so cute and honestly I hate the diaper bag we have right now. It was just like some random cheap one that we picked up because we wanted- It wasn't cheap. It was like $30. It was like $20. It's cheaply made. Like the book bag is just uncomfortable and it doesn't sit right. It doesn't have very good storage. I'm the one that wears it. <laughs> so I picked this one out on Amazon because it was cute. And I'm going to have a toddler and a newborn to pack for now. So I wanted something easier. With lots of storage like this has, like it has the bottles, uh, insulated pockets, and space right there. It's got the side pockets for cups and bottles. It's got this handle. It's got the book bag straps. There's another zipper back here where you could keep like. Ooh, that's actually. A big space. Oh, it's like easy access to the inside. It's interesting. It's got these hooks, which you might be able to like hook a strap to it and carry it differently, maybe. It's really big. <laughs> and then here it's got a bunch of space down the bottom. It's got all these pockets and zippers and stuff. The diapers and changes of clothes and bottles and drinks and snacks and passies and diapers and wipes and everything else you have to carry when you have kids. Cause I think you said cool. diapers and wipes like three times. <laughs> There's another zipper here. Put phones in there so they're against your back. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Please show me your boobs. 
And in case there's anyone on here that um, ah! is interested in the diaper bag, it's by Half Mall. It's off of Amazon, obviously. Half Mall diaper bag. Backpack pockets, pink and navy blue. If you are more interested, I could probably send you like the direct link to it, but yeah. Once again, thank you, Candice. I'm pretty sure you watch like most of my YouTube videos. So thank you for gifting from the registry. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for not making me buy something. <laughs> you just say no. There's a front door, or there's a left door, a middle door, and a right door. Which door do you walk through? <laughs> Which door do you walk through? Nine. Left, middle, or right? Middle. middle? Okay. Got that one. Okay, now they walk through the middle door, and there's another set of doors. Left, middle, and right. Whoa. <laughs> Which one do you walk through this time? Okay. Have you played this before? He knows. <laughs> he knows it! I'm not stupid. I was like, I was like, wait, no, I have it in my head. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to say no, I haven't played it before. Oh. I bet you Hang on, where's my five dollars? Hang on. He I, doesn't I'll, I'll bet have it back. Five I'll bet it back. If I win, I don't have to. I bet you I can get you to flip your hand over. Are you going okay? swimming? Now put your hand out. Not that way, the other way. What are my Dang it! They watch too much TikTok. Kids are geniuses! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you ate it? No, I didn't! And drank it? Yeah. <laughs> my cheeks have been seriously so red all day because I was like started exfoliating my face and stuff, so my skin's trying to adjust to that. <laughs> To snatch it from you and miss. Don't have corona. Just had a throat tickle. <laughs> <laughs> I did that in the middle of Walmart today. Like I just randomly got like a I swallowed wrong. And I literally just did one <sighs> into my elbow, like you're supposed to do. And it was like in a rather popular aisle. And then as soon as I did it, and as soon as I realized everyone started looking, I was like, crap, I just did that right now, didn't I? I was a little embarrassed, but Nobody is sick around her. We just got regular people problems, you know? We haven't had anything that had my address handwritten, did we? <laughs> just got his today, so hopefully I'll have mine soon. From Lima? Mm, local 41, yeah, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Would that even work here? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a Visa card. My money is a prepaid card. All the money that I paid into the And it medical. can only go into medical stuff. Mm hmm. But yeah. you don't need, so like most of it's gonna go to waste. Contact. Does it expire? No. Unless they get rid of it. I would benefits. say just bulk up on contacts, but your prescription changes, so that wouldn't be a very good idea. Yeah. Glasses, contacts. Maybe something else. If I need anything. It's like if I go to the doctor and I need a prescription and my insurance doesn't Which cover Which you never anything. do. I know. And your insurance doesn't cover anything. I know, but it's just saying <laughs> what it doesn't cover, I'd binny card it. I mean, you could use it to get your vaccinations before we have a newborn. <laughs> Since you, yeah. you still need your tea dap. <coughs> um, yeah, it's eight o'clock now. We finished dinner and stuff. I don't feel like having a bath tonight, so probably not going to. Just gonna get her in pajamas. And bedtime is at nine, so gonna chillax, put her in pajamas, probably eat some dessert or something, and then go to bed. I'm tired. I really wanted to nap while we were watching Jumanji earlier because I was laying down and I don't usually lay down throughout the day and I really wanted to nap but I also was watching the movie so I couldn't nap. But I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I assume I will keep you guys updated on like the final results for my ultrasound. <laughs> Once I actually like confirm with the doctor, which will probably be on like April 2nd, whenever I hear back. <laughs> so, that's probably.
probably when I'll know more about right. ultrasound and the glucose test results. I haven't gotten any calls about anything yet, and usually they say no call means good news, but just to make sure. Um, I was talking to Christopher about wanting to get out tomorrow and get some fresh air, because it's supposed to be like a, a warmer day, so it would be like comfortable walking weather. It's not going to be super sunny, so it's not like the sun's going to be glaring down on you, making you hot or anything. It, it's cloudy, not rainy, but yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully, we can try and do that. <laughs> but that would be a vlog for another day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment below. I always have trouble telling you what to comment, but like, honestly, you can comment anything. I read all the comments. And yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel before you go if you have not already. You can even go as far as turning on post notifications so that you never miss a video. We post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time.